Oh, hello. Hey everybody, I'm Nellie Lynn Fit and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing leg day. You know that's a fun one. Ayo. I can distort electrical fields, including the one inside your brain. <laughs> we're gonna be doing quads, glutes, calves, and hamstrings all in one workout. And I know you guys have been thinking, hey, she's been breaking up her workouts, but today we're gonna be doing a full leg day just to show you, because why not? I like you, but you're crazy. We're gonna be doing some movements that you probably have seen and some movements that you probably have not seen. But the chances that you haven't seen these is highly unlikely. The workout for me, Graham obviously is gonna be doing crazy weight, but today I'm gonna to be focusing more on moderate weight. And really slowing down the movements and really getting the full burn of those movements you're going to see some hip thrust booty blasters where we go really slow uh it's not about the weight it's about the movement it's really just you know getting that burn in the glutes obviously i can do more that was not the focus for today i'm tooting my own horn so the hamstrings you're going to be seeing we're going to be doing uh mile reps if you don't know what mile reps are basically you do your first set which is a straight set which means you just go until you know three reps or until failure mm -hmm. and then say you've got 20 reps on that first set mm -hmm. then at each set that proceeds so your second set you should get 20 reps your third set you should get 20 reps but if you need to rest and pause say you can only get 15 then you gotta take five or ten seconds then get another five as long as you just get to 20. yeah hit thrust again if you're gonna we're gonna show those if you don't have a booty blaster uh sorry <laughs> <laughs> uh, most gyms, I think these days, have booty blasters. If not, you can uh, take two benches and kind of do it that way with your feet elevated. I like the booty blaster elevated with the feet up like that just I because, like I, booty <laughs> because I feel like I get more pull in my glutes there uh, versus just doing a regular hip thrust with a barbell. Spoiler alert, you're going to see us do belt squats. <laughs> and belt squats are great on the pit shark, especially if you have um, kind of a bad back like I do. I fractured my back twice in gymnastics. Ow. So it's great for reducing axial loading. For those that don't know what that is and don't want to Google it, basically it takes a lot of pressure off your back. I don't know what we're yelling about! If you need to use a support bar, you can use it on the way up, but don't use it on the way down, basically. Just as support, all right? Uh, my active wear speech by Nelly.com. Uh, some cool dresses just came about called the Snatch Dress, okay? It's a body-hugging, friendly, cur-friendly dress that it just... It just melts onto your skin and it just makes you look so snatched, okay? But not snatched in the other word that some people think that means. It's snatched as far as your body is concerned. So go check those out on peachblindly.com. This is going to be a brutal leg day. I'll put all the sets and reps and everything up in the video. And thanks guys for watching. Time to make the chimney chongas. Okay, starting off with hamstring curls. I had already done my working sets. Uh, of two and then I was going into my three mile uh, rep match sets so I had already done two so I was showing you guys the last one because we forgot to film it but here I just wanted to show you the example of what we we're talking about with myo rep match okay so first of all I'm going very nice and slow all the way down because that's when at the very bottom um, when you're pulling against your muscles is when you get the most out of the movement not when you're throwing it back up a lot of people do that in reverse Hamstrings are always a pretty weak point for me, but they've been growing so crazy. So I just wanted to show you guys, and I really, really love doing this type of movement with the hamstrings just because I really get them tired and they really just work, work, work. So I wrote an example of what the Mayo rep match is so that you guys can see and kind of do it on your own if it's a little confusing to you. So on my working sets, I had gotten 20 on the first set, right? So the second set, I'm gonna be trying to go for that 20. So if I get 18 and I need to rest, that means I have two more at that weight, right, to get. So the third set would be, again, trying to get to that 20. So if you have to do 15 and rest, five and rest uh, to get to that 20, that's the goal. The goal is just to get to the same rep range that you did the first working set. So it's a really difficult exercise just because it, get, it puts you through a lot, but it also is just super duper great. Um, I'm obviously going through it right now, and this is just our first uh, movement of the day. So. I knew it was going to be a difficult leg day, and that's what we signed up for. Unfortunately, I forgot to record Graham's, uh, but he did the same thing, obviously, at a higher weight. Oh. Ow. Next, we moved on to the good old leg press. So the leg press machine that we had been using that I loved, uh, they 
got rid of it for some reason, I don't know, but uh, leg press here, we're using our lifting shoes and obviously toes are pointed out. Uh, this is just our warm up, so kind of do your warm ups uh, according to what you feel and how you feel and take it from there. So he's warming up and then I'm gonna warm up with a 45 plate. Again, this is their first time using this different hack machine, so I was already pretty tired and I was not feeling it. But again, with leg press, uh, you're going to want to have your toes out and you're going to want to control uh, the movement down so slow is always best and if you can at the very bottom of the movement if you can pause and count to a one Mississippi uh, and then push back up that's uh, just a really great goal for yourself. I have really long femurs as you can see so uh, for the tall people out there I totally understand but it's uh, worth your while. And just to make note, you can also put pads behind you. We usually use a pretty uh, solid thick pad. Uh, it just wasn't there at this time. So we had been using our little pads that we use for the hamstring machine. Um, that just uh, helps us both out a lot with range of motion and everything like that. Um, Graham's just gonna go into his working set. Obviously he's uh, a beast, so he's gonna be doing quite a bit. He is a champ at doing the toes out and knees out movement which is everyone's goal and he's just really great at this movement obviously you can see how brolic his legs are but again leg press is super duper great and if you can get lifting shoes and even platform inserts it's um it's going to be night and day for your workouts and as i mentioned in the intro this is a moderate we're going for high reps today for this workout he can obviously leg press a lot more and so can I, but the goal here is to really tap into the movements and go slow down. And I need to pause a little bit more at the bottom. Um, but again, this leg press was just not my uh, cup of tea today. But again, just focusing on going slow all the way down. And if you can get that pause in, as you see I'm doing here, um, that would be great for you. And again, we're going for that 15 to 20 rep range. So again, Ego lifting and, and putting on lots of lots of heavy weight is not the goal right now because um, we are going to be going up over the weeks. I also had forgotten my knee sleeve, which was super important for me because I have a torn meniscus. So the knee sleeve really just helps with that compression, obviously, on my knee. But by doing this without the compression sleeve, it also is making my knee a little bit stronger. But anyways, uh, we were doing our going into our working and warm up sets working sets and warm-up sets again for the warm-up sets you don't have to do two i do recommend that if you need to do more please feel free to do more until you feel like you're ready to go into your working set with that weight um, but really try to stick to those three working sets yeah. i screwed up my shin And I'm just showing you this here because we decided to up the moderate weight for me and make it even more difficult for me today so that I couldn't walk. So I added on a little bit more weight for myself just because uh, the moderate weight was a little bit too moderate. So here I am just doing the same thing again. Again, keeping it nice and slow. I could go slower, to be honest. The slower you can go, the better. I know it sounds crazy and I know that it's going to hurt, but the slower you can keep that weight towards your, like coming towards your chest. Uh, before you push up the more benefit you're going to get out of the actual workout and if you can get that pause in like i said that one mississippi which i need to work on obviously uh, i'm okay with constructive criticism all the time none of us are perfect uh, it would be great for you to do and next we'll move on to the hip thrust at the booty blaster uh, like i mentioned before in the intro if you guys have one this is a really really great machine um, i love elevating my heels up simply because i get more movement and more pull in the hips as i come down I'm doing my warm-up weight, so I'm not really focusing on going super duper slow right now. I'm just getting my glutes more warmed up than they already are. And again, we're doing moderate weight. Uh, normally I can do about uh, three plates to four plates on the booty blaster, but keep in mind the booty blaster is a more difficult machine. It's very difficult to lift the same amount that you do on a regular barbell from the ground hip thrust that you would on a booty blaster because you have a lot more range and you're really, really pushing through. Hence why I really like the booty blaster because it allows you to get stronger and really push more weight and make your booty grow. And Graham is just going into his warm up. Uh, again, guys can do these movements. It's not girly to do. Um, he always feels these like crazy because I feel like a lot of people, especially the male race, they neglect um, hip thrusts. So I wanted to show him doing his, um, but 
He always goes pretty light just because he already has a pretty big glute region, uh, which makes everybody jealous. But as I'm going into my working sets, you can see how slow I am going down and really isolating my muscles here. Um, the goal is to go slow, slow down because that's where it is working out the best, not when you're going up. You really want to hold those glutes and really squeeze on the way down because that's when you get the most burn out of the movement. Um, again, these were crazy difficult whenever you're doing them super duper slow. It's easy to throw around weight super fast, but whenever you're concentrating on the movement and really burning out your muscles, it's like night and day. So again, if you have a booty blaster, I would totally recommend it. If you can't find one, I can show modifications of how to do different um, hip thrusts with this elevation. And just a quick note on arm placement, you can do your arms or put your arms wherever you feel most comfortable, all right? So I was pretty tired at this point, but we had more to go. I wanna go home. I don't wanna, I, don't, I wanna go home! And last but not least was the belt squat, which uh, people call this machine the pig shark. You can do different variations of movements on this machine. You can do sumo squats, you can do deadlifts. Uh, there's a lot of different variations, again, like you can do with the pit shark. Uh, we're using the belt shark, which is really, really great for, again, axle loading. If you have uh, trouble doing squats because of your back or something like that, this takes a lot of the load off that. So again, Graham's just doing his warm up, and then I'm gonna move into mine. But these are crazy, crazy on your thighs at the very end, especially if you hook the belt um, a little bit further up on the machine, not so far back. As you can see, we kind of tweaked it at the very end and moved the belt a little bit more forward. Uh, but the goal here is, again, that stance and um, not putting a lot of uh, your weight on that bar, okay? You're just using the bar as support. You're not trying to use it to help yourself um, pull yourself up out of it, okay? Or give uh, any of your quads a break here. So again, find the foot placement that works for you. Um, again, you wanna go nice and slow into these movements. It takes me a little while to find my proper foot placement here. And, and one last note, um, make sure that you're not bottoming out here. That means that the, the bottom of the weight is touching um, in between the platform, okay? Or the weights are touching the platform. You don't wanna bottom out because you don't wanna give yourself any kind of like momentum to help yourself back up. So if you need to put on some plates underneath to kind of elevate yourself even more, to create even more depth, uh, I would totally recommend that, okay? And Graham's going into his working weight. He's a superstar at these. Obviously, he holds that nice pause at the bottom, which we all are supposed to be doing, and he does these perfectly. But um, just a quick note here too, I'm not showing um, every single rep that we're doing or maybe every single set that we're doing, um, but I am adding in and telling you how many that we are doing in general. You guys would be here for 17 hours if I uh, really showed everything. Uh, if you want one of those kind of workouts, please let me know. But again, Graham's going into his superstar movements, again, nice and slow. And these were pretty painful, but necessary at the very end. So definitely recommend doing these at the very end of your workout. Um, he, I had to be motivated into this because I, I ended up crying after this workout, to be completely honest. And this is my last working set, so pretty uh, burned out here, but I'm gonna let you guys see uh, the very end just because I think it's pretty important to see how tired we all get whenever we work out. I think it's important not to, you know, cut too many things out as far as the workout is concerned, just so you guys can see how, what, it, what it's truly looking like and how it truly feels. Um, but at the end of these, we went to do calves, and uh, that was the workout. Perfect. There we go. Come on. All the dinosaurs feared the T-Rex. It was an eventful morning because the uh, dog stepped in their own poop and tracked it all over the place. So, Hence why we have the blankets on the couches. Uh, luckily, we sprayed some Jamati on it and I took that scent up a thousand levels. <laughs> mm. 
This is the uh, Femme Amber. It smells really good, but we're gonna be spraying this on us because this workout's gonna require us to stink. It's baggy shirt day, all right? And Luis and Lionel. My channel, I look like I'm about two feet tall right now. <laughs> I, look, I look like this is how the height of the countertop. I'm sitting in a chair. <laughs> Come look. There he is. Great. Okay. And if you ever have you have you guys watched Top Boy? Because I think my uh, if you've watched Top Boy, comment below because we're late to the game, but we just finished season three, and uh, wow, who do you think done it? I'm gonna tell you this once: you're the illest. Ba ba da da do. In a bit, yeah. In it. What one? Poop on this blanket. Yeah, there's poop all over it. Because of you guys. Hee <laughs> hee. Gracias. Para vivar en la casa, en las escuelas, en el azul, marcada. Hey, I'm yeah. Nelly Lynn with Nelly Lynn Fitness. <laughs> it's, ba <laughs> hey, it's basically we great. talk about muscles. Hey, this hey. is Nelly Lynn with Nelly Lynn Fitness. Hello, bugger. Hello. Hello, guys. I'm Beep Bop. Hey. Hey guys! Hey! Hey!